Hey guys, welcome to Blown Capacitor Automotive and Audio. I am Joe, and this is the first installment of my new video series called Audio Essentials. Today, we're going to go over speaker polarity. In other words, the positive and negative wires, which one goes to which. So on a normal speaker, it's pretty easy to tell which one goes to which. They're usually marked by the positive being red and the negative being black. But let's say, for example, you have a speaker and you don't know which one is the positive and negative terminal, meaning which one the positive wire goes to and which one the negative wire goes to. Well, a very easy and simple way to figure that out is basically just with a remote. <laughs> okay, no, it's not actually the remote. It's what is in the remote that we are going to take out. And this right here. You can use any type of battery that is from AAA up to a D. I do have a C here. I've seen other videos where people have done the same thing and they use a 9 volt. I wouldn't use a 9 volt just real quickly because um, speakers do not like direct current. All batteries are direct current. I would suggest not doing that. Just use any old uh, 1.5 volt. Anything from AAA up to a D is usually a 1.5 volt. So basically the easiest way to tell the proper polarity for your speaker, first off, figure out which is the positive and which is the negative side of the battery. Then the next step would be hook up some wires to your speaker. Doesn't really matter what color wire goes where. So now what you want to do is take one wire, put it to the negative side, and then take the other wire and put it to the positive side and see which way the speaker moves. If you connect them and the speaker moves up or out, that means that it is the proper polarity. I like to think of it as the speaker is coming towards you, wanting to embrace you with a hug. And if you do it improperly, it will go down or go in, kind of like it's wincing away from you, or it's kind of showing you that it's not the proper polarity. Easiest way, up and out is good, back and in is no good. Now again, if you do have a speaker like this lovely Optimus Pro 7 that I found for yeah, three dollars. Now, if you do have a speaker like this that has regular terminals on it and maybe they're not marked or something, you can do the same thing. Just hook wires up to your terminals and then hook each wire to each side of your battery. And one last tip for people who may have speakers that are already installed into their car and maybe you're doing an aftermarket or something, or if you can get to your speakers in your dash where they connect to your amplifier, you can do this as well. For demonstration purpose, we're going to use this bunch of wires as an example, but let's say that you do know what your two speaker wires are, you just don't know the polarity, you can do the exact same thing. Just connect the positive and the negative and maybe have a friend check the speaker that you're trying to diagnose if it goes up or if it goes down. Another trick I like to use is uh, put my phone up recording and then go up and then do my connection and then go back and then check the footage. But yep, there again, hope that helped you out guys.